I believe 3D printing is going to really disrupt the model where you buy online and receive, like the very Amazon model, uh, going to a download from my mini factory to your computer and print it, get it now, not tomorrow, not day after, now. And for cheaper, 3D printing is on its way to sort of remove Amazon. What are going to be the big use cases for 3D printing? You know, toys industry is a hundred billion dollars industry. You know, toys is huge. Toys is going to be entirely disrupted. Uh, you can name them all, like food, uh, jewelry, everything. Even, it seems, a mini version of me. 15 cameras are shooting all at once to get as many pictures from each and every different angle. The computer will analyze all those many, many pictures. It's quite intensive process and gives absolutely marvelous results. Well, let's wait and see, but if 3D printing promises so much, does this spell the end of physical retail stores? I'm not thinking 3D printing will replace the offline retail. You're still going to go places, but these places will have a 3D printer. Everything that needs to be customized or bespoke or short run, like spare parts, you're probably not going to place and buy spare parts that are on the shelf. You're probably going to go there and say, look, I'm needing a spare part for that thing. And they click a button and get it printed for you. One of the things I've seen is jewelry yep. on display. That's something that you guys have 3D printed. Absolutely. How does that process work? Say we are a jeweler and you come to us and you say, ah, I like a ring. And so we come up with a drawing very quickly. And then you push a button and you print one so you can Play with it, figure out, ah, no, too small, too big, whatever, click, change, print another one, get it right. As, you, as soon as you're happy with it, just do another thing and get it in metal, like pure silver or whatever. Food is another area where we've seen 3D printing have an impact and some development there. It's not like 3D printers are going to do all your food, you know, I'm not into those 3D printed pizzas or whatever. It's more like you go to an exquisite place, like a restaurant, you go there, you start your dinner, and by the end of the dinner, you know, the chef comes to you and brings you a piece of dessert that is just like appealing to yourself, like something you said at the beginning when you enter the place, they catch that, they do a thing and they print it and bam, and this piece of chocolate could be exactly that. One more question, Sylvain. Sure. Can I eat this chocolate? Absolutely, please be my guest. How is it? That's really good. <laughs> yeah. I'm back at the CNBC studios after visiting the 3D printing store and I've received a package which I think is the result of what happened at iMaker. Let's take a look. Wow, that is impressive. It really does look like me, the hair, the clothes. They've got it really spot on actually. 3D printing has come a long way. It's really impressive. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.